lovely people and welcome again to my tutorial for today. I'm still my humble self, the needle woman. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Thank you so very much for loving me and I love you back. Okay, and if you are new to this channel, please don't leave without touching that red icon to subscribe and also touching the notification bell. All right, so for our tutorial today, we are going to be making a booboo -boo gown with angel sleeves. We are going to be using a lace fabric for it. Okay, so let's just quickly get started. At some point, I'll be using the floor for it, and at some point, also, I'll be using the table for it because it's a very long gown. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, so I'll be using this lace fabric for our angel sleeve boo boo gown. Okay, and our length is 60 inches. I'll be making it 61. So this is 60 inches. This is 61 here. All right. So I'm going to now fold it into two in order to get both the front and the back because we are cutting the front and the back together. Okay, having straightened it out like this, I will have to fold it again to make it into four. Right, so we should have something like this. I'll now neatly arrange it on the floor this way. Okay, so now as you can see, I've neatly laid it on the floor. Okay, folded into four places. We will now place our body measurement. So here we go for our body measurement. Sorry, I came back to the table because on the floor i don't think it was very clear so i had to come back so i'll be close to my camera first i measured out my shoulder our shoulder measurement is 26 divided into 2 is 13 so this is 13 inches okay my arm hole is 9 inches which also is going to be forming my bust line and on it, I'm going to place my bust measurement, which is 42 divided into 4 is 10.5, which is here. And then I'll be adding 2 inches extra for ease, which will leave us at this place. I will turn that into a straight line, which I already did. But I don't think it is very visible. I really hope you can see this okay now my half length is 16 inches which is here on it I'm going to place my waist measurement which is 39 divided into 4 is 9.75 yeah I'll also be adding 2 inches extra for ease Sorry, it's 9.75. Two inches extra for this, which is here. I'll also make it into a straight line. I'm using these two colored chalks so that I'll make sure I did my best in letting you see what I'm doing. I hope you can see this one. For my hip, it is... 50 inches divided into 4 give us 12.5, which is here. I'll be adding 2 inches extra also for ease. Yeah. So I'll be making it into a straight line also. Okay, so this is our 
hip bust waist hip now all we need to do is to connect our shoulder measurement to the bust to the waist and then to the hip to the bust to the waist and then to the hip I hope you can see it. Okay, I hope you can see this. Ignore this one. With that done, we'll now go to the hemline and add three more inches to this hip line, three or two inches to this hip measurement, okay? Okay, so our hip measurement was 12.5. We added 2 inches extra for ease. And then I'll be adding 2 or 3 more. Let me make it 2.5 inches more. Okay, which will leave us at this point. Okay, so with my ruler now, I will connect this one to my hip measurement just like this so i hope you can see the line here connected to the hip measurement okay now for the neckline i will use three and a half inches okay and for the volume of the neckline I'm going to be using four and a half inches for the front one and a half for the back I'm using these two chucks because I want you to see it. So this is the neckline, the volume of the neckline for the back. This is for the front. You can see it this is for the back this is for the front so I'm going to cut the back neckline first of all and then the front neckline Okay. And lovely people, there's not going to be any shoulder slope. Okay? It will just fall on its own. So with these measurements done now, I will just proceed to cut it out. And when I do that, I will spread it on the floor so that you will see how it is. Okay, so this is it when we cut it. I only needed to show you so that you will see how it is all right okay so also at the neckline i'm going to cut it open at the volume by like four inches okay so i'll just cut it open just the front neck because we are going to be attaching a rope okay so this is perfect 
So the next thing I should do now after cutting this one is to just use my bias or satin, any one that you have available to tape the neckline of both the front and the back. All right. Now for the angel sleeve, it's going to start from this shoulder, from this point to probably the hip line, okay? So you will need to measure it out and find out how many inches there in. That's 25 and a half inches. So the length of our sleeve is going to be 26 inches, okay? Or 26 and a half. The extra is the allowance. All right, so here now we're cutting our sleeve and you can see my lace fabric is on fold. There is no cut here, I just folded it. See what I mean? There is no cut. I just folded it because we don't have any cut at the shoulder on our clothes. Now we said the length of our sleeve should be 27. This is 27. If you like, you can add more allowance, but this time it's going to be tucked inside, okay? Let's say 28. All right. You need to make sure it is straight. Now with this done, all you need to do is to slightly curve to meet the length of the sleeve you slightly curve it from this other angle that has the trimming because i really want to make use of this trimming so you just slightly curve i hope you see what i did There is no mathematics here, so you just lightly curve, okay, and then cut. Okay, so this is one sleeve. I will place it on top of this fabric again and cut out the second one. Lovely people, you can see here, because of this curve here at the sleeve, it doesn't have this fine trimming anymore. I hope you notice it. Okay, so what we are going to do is to still cut out the trimming like I've done. And carefully place it like this okay you place it this way i hope you saw what i did now it has the trimmings okay so i will just stitch it together join it to the sleeve and trim off the excess if you like you can still do it this way All we want is to get this trimmings here, okay, to be here. So I'm going to attach it like this, this way, so that it will be uniform with the upper part. I'll do so on the other side of the sleeve. Okay, so now this is the neckline. We're about to tape it, but I would like to add a rope at the neck here. Remember, this is where I split it open at the front side, okay? So this rope is going to sit this way, one on this side, one on the other side, okay? So now what you are going to do is, meanwhile, I cut this at random. I did not use any measurement, but I'm so sure that someone will say, ask me, what is the length of the rope? 
so in order to avoid that question let me measure this is 26 and a half inches okay by the time i'm done sewing it it will remain 26 inches now you can also see the lower part is a little bit wider than the upper part is intentional okay you can just chamfer your own again i didn't use any measurement all right now the first thing we are going to do at the neckline is to close this up this is two here i will close it up from here and leave only this place open then i will turn it inside out and attach one here one on the other side i'll leave a little space remember i'm going to be taping the neckline okay so i'm going to attach one on this side of the neck one on the other side of the neck okay so i will do that first of all okay now as you can see i've attached my yellow satin this is satin actually dull face okay you can see i left about half an inch from the neck area and also you can see the way I attached it this is the right side I mean the front the outer side this is the inner side or the wrong side you see I placed the satin on top of the right side okay on the right surface okay now the next thing I should do is first I'm going to tape from this point i hope you can see it i'm going to tape from this point all around i'll start i'll start working from here move this way to the other side of the neck and stop here okay when i'm done i'm going to pinch this place a little i hope you get me so i'll go to the machine work from here i'll place if you have a bias you can use but i don't want to use a bias i'll be using this okay you place it, you sew from here, work like this, and then come up to the other side of the neck, okay? So I'm going to go to the machine and do just that. Okay, so having taped it, as you can see, the next thing should be to just... You make sure they are equal first of all and then at this point I'm going to pinch it I'm going to just hold it just this way okay I'll just sew it small just to pinch it so that it will stand like this okay all right so you can see the effect of the pinch I gave it okay the next thing now will be to tape the whole neckline now if you are working with this kind of fabric you be very careful so that you don't entertain unnecessary stretch okay you be very careful when you are sewing so that at the end of the day the neck is not wider than intended i will also be using this to tape the neckline area if you have a bias it is also good So I will start working this way. First, I'm going to fold it like this. Okay. And then I'll start sewing. When I get to the other end of the neckline, I will also end it like this. I hope you understand. I started like this. So when I get to the end, to this other side of the neckline, I will also end it this way. Okay. Okay, so now you see both of the two ends have the same style of closure. Okay, so with this done, all you need to do is to still turn it over and then neatly tuck it in like this. Okay, you walk all the way around the neckline again. All right, so now as you can see, I've inserted the belt at the neckline i've also finished taping the neckline area okay the next thing should be to insert the sleeve 
all right so here is our sleeve i earlier said i'll be putting i've been attaching some trimmings at the area where i cut off in order to achieve this curvy effect and i've done that i've attached it now if i didn't tell you there was an attachment there's no way you can find out okay i've done it neatly and very very strong so the next thing i'll do is to get the midpoint of this sleeve first of all okay so this is the midpoint of this sleeve all right i'll also find the midpoint of this one since there is no cut at the shoulder i'll just have to make sure i catch it at the very center all right so here is the midpoint this is it so all i need to do now is attach my sleeve to the shoulder like so you see the two midpoints overlapping each other like this and then i'll have to sew down remember we added extra allowance for ease so it's advisable that as you are joining this sleeve you move in a little after nine inches remember our nine inches was our armhole okay that is the opening where the hand will pass through okay so you have to stitch it like this making sure they are equal when you get to nine inches you move in a little bit say like one inch away from the edge of the fabric the edge of the body of the dress and then you continue to attach you continue to attach until you get to the end of the sleeve okay what i mean is this is our midpoint you have to join it together equally you see neither of the neither the body of the clothes or the sleeve is longer than each other they are equal you continue until after nine inches which is our armhole area you then slightly move in gradually to about one inch away from the edge of the body of the gown and then you continue to attach i will attach it and show you what i mean all right so i've attached it as you can see this is nine inches away from the shoulder this is the shoulder that's the midpoint this is nine inches away from the shoulder that's the marking you have here okay and as you can see from there i started moving inwards gradually okay i hope you saw it this is my sleeve this is the gown i hope you saw it this is my sleeve this is the gown i did the same thing on the other side i hope you can see it and identify the difference between the sleeve and the body of the clothes okay now with that done you will now fold it using the body measurement you close it up starting from the armhole area which we already marked okay all right now this is our nine inches our armhole and let me please add this sleeve was attached to the front of this dress not the wrong side it was attached on the right side okay and then if you need to close it up the sleeve will have to be pushed inside you see the way i pushed it inside and then i neatly arranged my gown so now from here i'll use my body measurement i'll just start this way i hope you saw the marking i gave you see the way i slightly curved it here okay so i will start working like this using the body measurement with this is included i hope you get me so i will start working like this closing both 
the sleeve together, bringing the front and the back of the sleeve together. Okay, you do that till you get to the hemline. Okay, so here is the sleeve perfectly inserted. I'm going to put it on so that we'll see how it came out. Okay, so this is the sleeve. This is the side. You can see it's well tucked in. And this is the back. I really, really hope you can see it very well. Okay. So thank you for sticking with me till the end. I know you know I appreciate you a lot. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your love. And if you are new to this channel, please don't leave without subscribing if you haven't done so. And also touching the notification bell it helps you to get notification once I upload. Okay? Till we get to meet in my tutorial next. Take very good care of yourself and please keep your head high. And if this tutorial has been helpful to you, give us thumbs up. And don't forget to share our videos. I love you. Bye.